We're very excited that our validation studies for the Garden360 test have now come out in the scientific journal PLOS One. The fundamental finding in this paper is a comparison of this simple non-invasive blood test doing next-gen sequencing on 165 samples from patients with advanced solid tumor cancers of a wide variety compared to tissue, tissue-based next-gen sequencing. Samples were collected at UC San Francisco, MD Anderson Cancer Center, John Wayne Cancer Institute, Samsung Medical Center from in Seoul, Korea, and from two large community-based healthcare systems, one in Georgia and one in Washington State. So this multi-center study found that, number one, the Garden360 test has exquisite sensitivity. We can detect small bits of circulating tumor DNA that have been shed by your tumor into your blood down to a single molecule or two in a 10 ml tube of blood. This is equivalent to a 0.1% or one in 1,000 parts mutant allele fraction. The method it uses digital sequencing, where first we label the mutated DNA that we isolate from the blood sample. We label it with seven nucleotide tags, heptamer oligonucleotide descriptors. It's like barcoding the DNA. So imagine, circulating cell-free DNA, about 167 bases long, double-stranded, each strand, each complementary strand, labeled separately. All of that gets sequenced. Post-sequencing, if one of those two strands has picked up a false positive and the two strands don't match anymore, because of their labels, we know which strand goes with which strand, we can use algorithms to clean up the false positives. The result is the best specificity of any next-gen sequencing or NGS method. Not just blood-based NGS, but even tissue-based NGS. It's greater than 99.9999% specificity. Now, the sensitivity is imperfect. It's high, but it's imperfect. This is because all tumors don't release their DNA into blood. So although we can detect a single molecule or two of mutated DNA in a 10 ml tube of blood, some of these tumors, even the advanced ones, may not release. So blood versus tissue, 85% sensitivity for Garden360. The other fascinating finding was when we looked at how did tissue next-gen sequencing perform versus the blood test, the tissue test missed 20% of the mutations that we found with the blood. Now, why is that? That's because needle biopsies of deep cancers are limited by tumor heterogeneity. These tumors are multi-clonal. The needle biopsy can't possibly capture all the clones. Even if I surgically remove the lesion, there may be multiple lesions in metastatic cancers. And as we know now, these different clones in different metastases have different genomic signatures. The blood test may act as a summary for all parts of a tumor and all metastases of a tumor. Which test would you use first? At progression, I would use the non-invasive test first. You're gonna get a result in two weeks. If nothing's detected, by all means do the tissue biopsy. On the first 1,000 Garden360 tests run, in actual clinical practice, the test almost never fails. There was a 99.8% pass rate this contrasts with a 20-25% failure rate with tissue-based sequencing because you get a note back, there wasn't enough tissue to sequence, there weren't enough tumor cells on the slides. Please reschedule a repeat biopsy. Finally, when we compare the two methods, blood-based next-generation sequencing to tissue-based sequencing for the genes in the Garden360 panel, both tests had equivalent diagnostic accuracy, 99.3-99% plus diagnostic accuracy. So both tests highly accurate, both tests with near perfect specificity, both with high sensitivity but imperfect, but one, only one of the two tests non-invasive. That's the difference between tissue-based sequencing and plasma-based digital sequencing with Garden360.